Hi everyone, Ogar Plinkleton here, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to use laser light to make a guitar pickup. If you remember in the first video that I made several weeks ago, I showed you how to transfer sound with lasers. Well, I thought about it and I thought about a practical application of that, and I think a practical application would be to make a guitar pickup using lasers. So, I'm going to be using this guitar. This is an old Imperador guitar made in Japan from 1968. And I'll play a few chords, just let you know what it sounds like without the pickup. out of tune and this guitar is actually extremely hard to play the finger action on it is really hard it kills my fingers anyway so this is a guitar and you just heard a few chords uh, that the guitar made sound without the pickup so I'm going to walk you through the design process and what my thinking was leading up to a prototype um, that I made and we'll compare the sound of the guitar without the pickup to the guitar with the pickup. Here's my experimental setup. I have strung a guitar string on this board on one end to the other, drilled a hole in it, and of course the string is going over of, um, that hole. And when I pluck the string, Of course, it vibrates and gives off sound. So what I've done is I have a red laser here, and I have a solar cell there. The solar cell is connected by a jack and leads down to the Fender amplifier. So I'm going to turn on the laser. Uh, I've turned on the laser. You can see that it's shining on the guitar string and what's not being hit um, by the guitar string is shining back on the chalkboard. I'm going to move the solar cell back there, there. and as I pluck the, the string the shadow of that vibrating spring is being projected onto the solar cell and thus it's changing the amount of electricity or current flow that's being produced by the solar cell. And that then will be interpreted by the Fender amplifier. Turn on the amplifier. And I think I'm going to give it a little bit of reverb, which is right here. And come back up. And now pluck the string. And hopefully it'll be electrified. <laughs> Okay, so I figured if I can do that with one string, I should be able to do it with six strings. I just have to find a way to mount the lasers, six of them, and shine them onto a solar cell. And I'll show you my design process right now. I designed this using SolidWorks, and this is the 3D model of the final assembly of the uh, prototype. And I call this Plinkleton's Pickup Delight. And you can rotate this and
So what I'll do is I'll explode this. So it'll allow you to see all the actual parts. So, and then I'll kind of explain what they are. Um, so the purple piece on here is the base. That's this piece. And uh, one of the nice things about SOLIDWORKS is the uh, drawings. It creates the drawings after you create the part, and then you can use those drawings um, to actually manufacture a part. So I have a guy in Chicago who I sent the drawings to, and he used his 3D printer to make these pieces. So that's the base. This is a solar cell that goes in the base. And I'll shoot, this gets mounted on the guitar. And then this is the laser holder. So these are the laser lights, these gold things. These individually go into each one of these and they're held. And like this. So the lasers can slide back and forth, allowing you to actually align them over each string. And you can see this is wired. And I have a switch and I can turn the lasers on. And then there is this top cover, which covers it all. And down here is the jack that um, the two wires from the solar cell go to the jack and then the jack the plug from the amplifier goes in there. And these are the screws right here, here, and here that allow me to, once I slide these in place, I can then tighten those and lock them in place. So that's the prototype. And let me collapse it so there it is Plinkleton's pick up the light so now I'm going to install the prototype laser pickup on the guitar first piece that goes on is the bottom piece that's a jack that will lead to the amplifier of cord. This is the solar cell right there. And this whole thing is just going to slide under here. And that'll live just like that right there. And you can see the good strings are over top of it. So I'm going to put that on just temporarily. I've secured the bottom half of the um, pickup to the guitar with just some tape. And you can see that it's just hanging there. And Okay, that's the bottom piece. Next, the top piece. For the prototype, the top piece consists of what I had shown you before, the lasers in their holder. And there's a battery pack in here, which I'll just take off for now. And I'm going to stick this on to the top of here. And I'm just using some double-sided tape for right now. Okay, so that's in place. So the top piece is now in place, and I'm using this little switch to turn the lasers on. You can see them go on, and you can also see them hopefully shining on the strings under there. Okay, the last thing I need to do, I'll turn them off, 
is to put the jack, the cord from the amplifier, into the jack. Which I'll do right now. All right, I've got everything fastened pretty securely, just with tape, and I'm going to play it without the uh, amplifier, and I just play it acoustically, so you can hear what that sounds like. Okay, I'm going to turn on the lasers and turn up the volume on the amplifier and hopefully now you'll hear a big difference. Okay, I think you can hear the difference. This works really, really well. And obviously it's gummed a little bit with the tape and everything. And the on-off switch, which is right here, um, I'm going to design that to actually hook on a guitar strap. And the on-off button is right there. And you can see, let me turn it off. All right, that's it for this edition of Ogar Plinkleton's Existential Physics. I hope you enjoyed it. And just remember, this was my idea. And don't steal it. I don't mind you playing around with it, but uh, it is Plinkleton's pickup delight after all. Okay, see you next time.